is a lovely evening in uh, Holland. This is Steenbergen. I'm on some industrial estate. I was testing an engine over there. Uh, there's not, not a lot of people about, surprisingly. It's nearly 8 o'clock in the evening. And this tiny patch of uh, Britain is a memorial to the uh, crash of the mosquito of Guy Gibson on uh, the 19th of September 1944. So he's the uh, officer who led the Dam Busters raid. So he died with his navigator squadron leader, squadron leader J.B. Warwick, DFC. He crashed here. Maybe the main street after him. It's clear because of the sun in the background, it's, this is Warwick Strut. So they need two streets in the industrial estate, or in this area, after the uh, victims of the mosquito crash. It's been in the park in the centre of uh, Steinbergen, and uh, this is a memorial to Warwick and Gibson. Now I don't know if it, the propeller is from their crash plane or not, I'll have to check that. Um, it's in a little, I was going to say it's quite a little path and the motorbike starts up over there, but anyway. So you've got a memorial plaque, information over there. And that's the memorial. This is the communal cemetery in Steinbergen. It took me a while to find them because there's only two graves but they're uh, quite near the entrance. So here we have, there's no um, cross of remembrance or anything like that, there's a flagpole. Um, and then other than that, the two headstones. So on the left, so, Wing Commander, G. P. Gibson, let me zoom in a little bit, DSO and Bar, DFC and a Bar, as well as the VC, so DSO twice, DFC twice, Pilot Royal Air Force, and then the uh, Victoria Cross emblem on his headstone, and then beside him is Squadron Leader. J.B. Warwick, DFC, Navigator. Um, one, one thing to note is the uh, controversial black dog. Which, um, if you've watched the film, actually the modern films, I think they deleted it, but he was, I think he was called um, Nigger. But he's been deleted out from the film. But there you go find a resting place of Wing Commander Guy Gibson, VCE.